Hey guys, this is message number one out of the three message sequence devoted to understanding the markets going into next week. Uh, message one is about stagflation. Stagflation is something we have identified as our base case for the markets in 2024 and going into 2025. Stagflation is a phenomenon which is quite rare. Um, and this economic term basically means that Economic indicators are weakening and the economy is slowing at the same time when inflation is incredibly stubborn, uh, stubborn and refuses to, to drop and oftentimes inflation will proceed higher. Uh, one of the main arguments uh, since the beginning of 2004, if you go back to uh, our January, February videos, there were many videos devoted to stagflation. Basically, while the rest of the market was calling for huge economic growth, that everything is going to be great, employment, and they were pointing to the strong consumer and strong uh, economic indicators. None of it came to fruition. Uh, also, everyone's analysis of how the market was going to, they're going to do eight rate cuts, six rate cuts, five rate cuts. That's what everyone was talking about in January while we were talking about stagflation. So this is a moment in time where on Tuesday, August 13th, the market could actually come to a realization what we've been already in the know here at Third Year Market Move since the beginning of the year. The market may finally come to a realization that it is indeed stagflation and nothing other than stagflation that we're seeing in the United States. Now, earlier uh, in the last uh, seven days, uh, we already had an indication coming out of China uh, Chinese uh, lowered their G uh, GDP forecast to uh, 4.8. Now, that's like the lowest in, in dozens of years. And their CPI number actually went up. So already in China, you have a case of stagflation uh, where eco economy is weakening while um, prices and inflation uh, is actually ticking up. So... I'm not sure why the market has not reacted to that yet, but the good test of the market will be on Tuesday at 8.30 in the morning. And that could be the moment if PPI number is actually ticking up higher. That could be the moment of great realization for the market. Oh, shit. We're actually in stagflation. Now, not to confuse the stagnation, Stagnation when everything is falling. You're, uh, you know, uh, unemployment is uh, going to the moon. Uh, you've got weakening job conditions. You got weakening economy, weakening manufacturing, weakening everything. Right? That's stagnation where everything is dropping, including inflation. Um, and during those events, there has been interest rate cuts implemented by Federal Reserve, at which, okay. Uh, markets gotten bullish now the importance of stagflation is there has never in the history of financial markets been a circumstance or market time frame where markets were going through stagflation and markets gone up every historic instance of stagflation markets go down so that is how important tuesday August 13th is because we're already got in the weekend. Now, the market has come to grasp now that shit is going down the hill. Okay, we've, we've talked about how shit's been going down the hill and how Biden administration's been masquerading the numbers of employment reports and so on until I said there's going to be a moment until they could no longer do that. And so that moment came in last week when uh, the jobs number was announced. And all of a sudden, market realized, well, shit, maybe uh, the consumer is not strong. Maybe we are losing a lot more jobs than we expected. Maybe the market uh, economic conditions are not as strong. And, you know, it's kind of crazy because there's been multiple uh, warnings about this going back to the Nike report when Nike collapsed over 30 percent. That was a, a, a warning sign that, hey, the consumer is not strong, not just in, in the United States, but worldwide. Nike is one of the one of the biggest markets for Nike is 
China, which is why I thought it was so relevant to pay attention that stagflation case has already uh, occurred in China. And just like Nike earnings report, okay, um, they showed weak numbers across the board. Well, so I think the next domino is going to be here in the United States uh, as far as the stagflation case. And the market could be caught off guard. Uh, oh, finally, it's not maybe a final moment in the market could occur to which it's going to be uh, beyond any reasonable doubt that we're in stagflation. Since the beginning of the year, we've been talking about 73, 74, uh, where the market drops 48.1% uh, in less than six months. I think that is exactly where we're heading. Uh, and the big wave of that move, um, contrary to the common belief where people are saying, hey, we're going back to, you know, 5,600, 5,800, 6,000. Nobody's really changing their uh, market uh, uh, targets as far as Wall Street, uh, Wall Street analysts are concerned. But I think a lot of people are going to be readjusting their targets on the market. So everything we've talked about over the course of July uh, before the market began, the collapse, it is still very much valid uh, until today. So that is the case of stagflation and the importance of stagflation and the moment at which market reacts to it. Now, the one thing I could be wrong about okay clearly is it may take the market a moment to react so just like we've seen on many occasions when federal reserve uh, you know has their meeting we'll see a, a certain reaction in a certain direction initially but then over the course of next few trading days the market comes to a realization well shit the initial reaction was the false reaction and it begins moving in the opposite direction so basically guys Keep an eye on PPI number. I know most of the Wall Street analysts, they're not talking about it. What they're talking about it is the next Thursday uh, report, the jobless claims. It is the jobless claims bullshit on Thursday, uh, two days ago, that actually has moved the market higher. And in no shape or form, these numbers were uh, real. We all know that. Uh, and come next Thursday, they're probably going to be readjusting the numbers that they have just reported uh, Thursday two days ago. But at that point, hey, guess what? You cannot return the market reaction back. But I think the highest probability outcome is if we get a higher PPI number and they can no longer masquerade the jobless claims reports uh, uh, for this coming Thursday, then we can have a huge drop from Tuesday going all the way to Friday. And that is a pathway of how we can hit our first target of 49.50 on S&P and potentially second target of 4,800. So it would not be a shocker if S&P 500 filled the gap from months ago uh, where it jumped from a level of 49.50 to above 5,000. I think we will be closing that gap, okay? Now, don't be shocked, uh, you know, again, if the market does that with a little bit of a delay effect there like this market is so delayed by every metric um that some of these moves for that reason are going to be so much more wild than you would normally expect and so for that reason to see a market drop 48 percent let's say we're down you know five six percent depending on what indexes what index you're looking at um you know five six seven percent i mean i'm talking about a possibility of another 40 percent drop and a great number of that drop, a great percentage of the drop could be next week. And it's all in the hands of one report, okay? The PPI report. So, um, guys, that's that's focus number one for, for next week, okay? Make sure you have your account set up. As I stated in hundreds of videos, if you don't have your account set up for trading futures, you're missing big trades. Why are you missing big trades? It's because most of the economic data, okay, it's going to be announced before market open. It's going to be most of the time at, you know, 7, 7.30, 8.30 majority. So an hour before market opens. And if you cannot trade that hour, you will literally be missing the biggest part of the move for that trading day. 
And oftentimes traders that don't have their account set up, for example, your account is some bullshit uh, Mickey Mouse broker like Robinhood, you guys are missing 90% of the trades, 90% of the trading opportunities. There's no way you can place the trade on the Robinhood, you know, trading uh, futures on S&P 500, okay? There's no way you can wait till the very last moment to close your trades on the Robinhood. They're going to close your shit at 2, 3, 3, 30. Uh, guys, set up your trading accounts for success, okay? Give us a call here at 13 Market Moves. Go to 13mmtv.com, schedule a call. All right, it is vital to the outcome of whether you're going to be able to trade just a few thousand dollars to two million dollars plus with a 13 market moves coach over the next uh, 120 days of whether you are ready monday the 12th okay because on a lot of these positions okay it it could make sense to get ahead of what's coming not after especially if you're trading you know with an account that's not properly set up to where you cannot uh, place a trade uh, at uh, 8.30 or right around 8.30 time frame on Tuesday. So uh, message number one, stagflation should be the focus uh, um, of, of the entire market right now on uh, August 13th, Tuesday, uh, 2024, opposed to what most of the market participants believe they should be paying attention to Thursday, uh, and and so I think that is another reason why the markets could be caught off guard entirely, guys. So don't miss potentially one of the greatest and easiest trades in the world before the rest of the world is going to catch up to it. That's why you come to 13 Market Moves. You trade before the big move happens. Let's roll, guys. I'll see you in the next message. Next message of great importance, okay? Uh, there's two messages I'm going to be posting about this. One is uh, dealing with the chart patterns. Um, and another one is uh, uh, talking about uh, stagflation and contagion. So we've covered the stagflation briefly. S contagion is, is another phenomena which could be taking place at the same time as the market is hit with uh, the stagflation case here. So uh, make sure you review all these audio messages, videos over the weekend. Uh, make sure you're ready to trade Sunday night, 6 p.m. Don't miss any big fucking trades. Let's go.